What's up guys? Today I'm going to vinyl wrap the front grill on the Passat. I'm going to black it out. I'm going to chrome delete the thing. Gloss black. It's going to look great. I can't wait to do it. I'm pumped. Wait till the end of the video. I'll show you before and after pictures. I'm sure they're going to be awesome. All right, let's go. In the previous video, I showed how to take this grill off of the car, and uh, the reason I did it was to get the emblem off. And uh, I'm doing a wrap on that as well with a um, underlay, which I just painted. Uh, but I'm going to uh, wrap the actual VW emblem in the same color, which is gloss black. I received this from Amazon, our vinyl, and uh, it's gloss black, 2080, 3M 2080, the vinyl wrap. So I'm really excited today to get started on this, and uh, we're going to prep this, get it ready to wrap. All right, guys, the tools and things we're gonna need today to do this project, um, This, we're gonna need a tucking tool. We're obviously gonna need a knife, a razor knife, to cut the uh, excess off. And we're definitely gonna need rubbing alcohol. Uh, and that's gonna clean the surface, get any oils or dirt out, so the, uh, so the vinyl can adhere to the surface. So I'm gonna put some rubbing alcohol on a um, microfiber towel. I'm just gonna go through and wipe the surface, wipe the chrome down really well. And prep it. For the vinyl wrap you want it to adhere to the surface so you want to so what i'll do is i'll take this tucking tool put it in here put some more alcohol on it here i'll just go in the groove here and get it all cleaned out Some dirt's coming off. Yeah. You want to do the best you can. It's, things like this can be a little tedious for the impatient kind, but... Um, You know, if you're gonna take on a project like this, you might as well do it the best you can. I'm not a professional at this. This is the first, well, it's the first large, I guess, project that I've done when it comes to vinyl wrapping. I've experimented and practiced with a few things, but We'll see how it goes. So see, that's the dirt that I'm getting out of the grooves here. So I'll clean this up and get back with you when it's time to start wrapping it. All right, here it is. Let's get it open. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, special offer on something. Okay. Thank you. What do we have? 
Oh, it's not a sticker. I thought it was a sticker. Some instructions, I guess a quick guide on what to do. So that's it. And I'm gonna cut this. This is 12 inches by five feet. So 12 by 60. And I'm going to cut like, I don't know, an inch and a half, maybe a slice all the way down for each one, two, three, four pieces of this. Instead of buying it in little tiny strips, it's, I guess, more economical to buy it like this. And all you have to do is put it on a flat surface and run it down with a razor knife. So we'll, we'll do that. Oh, and it comes with this little application card, which I have this. It has felt on it. It's, I think, much better. This is like a credit card, but hey, credit cards do work on this stuff. And I may use it to go in some of these little grooves here. So what I did is I measured the length of these, which are all approximately the same. This one's a little longer on the bottom, but you know, about 42, 44 inches. But I'm gonna go all the way to about 49 inches. So I laid the vinyl out. That's a 12 inch piece by five feet, which is 60 inches. And I'm gonna probably cut it off about 48, 49 inches. That will leave me enough to wrap the VW emblem that I want to do. So that was all planned ahead. So if I'm efficient with this project and I don't screw it up, we should be just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut about a, I don't know, inch and a half strip all the way down to here. And do that for each part of that, which looks like one, two, three, four strips. These will obviously be cut in half, one, two, three, but uh, that will be one piece on the bottom, but it's still the same thing. All right, so I found a piece of trim board or whatever you can find that's smooth and straight. Um, I could use a yardstick or something, but anyway, I found this. I'm gonna, I think that's a good size to start with. I'm, I have a razor knife here, and I'm just gonna cut down this vinyl. run it in. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be scrap anyway and you're going to cut it. Off. Once it gets wrapped. I went a little crooked there. So there we go. A little snag there. So I have the strip. And again, this is 3M2080. And uh, it has supposedly a protective film on top. So when you use the application card or you're using the tucking tool, you don't scratch the actual gloss finish on this. It is nice and glossy, not overly glossy, but uh, it's nice. We'll see how it goes. I do think that I need to do a good job on this because gloss shows everything where you can hide things with more of a flat or a satin, but uh, I think the gloss is going to make it pop really nice. Let's get started on this. I think I'll start with the top. Obviously this separates on these three. So I'm going to, I line this up here. I'm just going to cut it in half here all right so this 
is my first time using this. So I'm just gonna peel it off like that. Don't let it touch anything. And I'm going to start over here with a little overlap. Now, from what I understand, you don't you want to pull on it, but you don't want to stretch it too much. So I'm just going to glide my finger, and I'm concerned about this turn on it, and. Run it down the chrome. And there's the end. Okay. Whew. That's that. So run it down the chrome. Um, as far as this goes, you can always pull it back. There we go. Run it down to the end. All right. <clears throat> Take the tucking tool. Just kind of work it in to the groove. You don't want to cut it. I'm actually concerned about how I get that protective layer off. Um, let's see here. It conforms pretty well. Actually, this stuff's impressive. It just takes time and patience. I mean, again, I'm not, I don't do this for a living. This is just something that I learned watching some videos and, you know, I'm second guessing myself right now as we speak. But what I like about it is you can always kind of peel it back and correct some air bubbles or mistakes. See about using this thing just to get it nice and tight. Now, my question is. I watched videos. It's easier to cut when before you heat it, but I think I need to heat it just to get it to adhere and then wait for a few minutes and uh, cut off the excess trim. And that is the most difficult part about it is cutting that trim off. It takes patience and a steady hand. I'm getting older. My hands aren't as steady as they used to be, but hey, you know, Nothing that a glass of wine or a beer won't, uh, uh, so I'm going to do, I think they call it like a relief cut. I'm just going to just cut a little piece so this can lay in there a little bit better. And there's nothing wrong from the videos that I've watched using your finger. I have fat fingers, working man fingers. And, uh, but hey, that's why we have tools. So let me, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull this protective layer off.
All right, one thing I noticed is, obviously I mentioned that there is a cover film on this, on any gloss 2080. You have to get it, kind of peel it and get it to start coming off. That is just a protectant to prevent scratches while applying this stuff. Um, I guess you can heat it and stretch it and all that, but I understand I when you're tucking it and when you're starting to trim it and cut things down, that needs to come off first. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. So let's see how this works. It's like saran wrap. There we go. Let's pull it off. It's kind of difficult to get it started, but once you get it started, it comes off very easily. So there it goes. There's the raw vinyl wrap. That's the first. part of the grill. G vinyl wrapped in gloss black. I think it looks amazing. So let's do the rest and uh, we'll see what the finished product looks like in a few. Hey guys, I'm taking a little break here. It's a little intense doing this. I, it's my first semi-major project working with vinyl wrap. But if you guys find some value out of this uh, today, please subscribe down below, like, um, and hit that bell once you subscribe. That will show you any new videos that come out immediately. It's like a notification bell. I really appreciate it, uh, and I hope to bring more content like this to you in the future. So um, I'm going to take a little break here and get back to it. I'm ready to finish this project. All right, I went over it one last time with a little heat and just my fingers trying to get things. It's not perfect, but it looks damn good. I'm very pleased. I could always rip it back off and put, put a new strip on again, but I think it's good. It passes my test. So I just have all of this to go and uh, no need to bore you with that. It's just repeating what I already did. Let's hope it goes smoothly and I don't run out of vinyl because I ordered this size precisely for this grill in the emblem, which I cannot wait to do that part. That's gonna be difficult. Let's do it. Finally, there it is. Overall, I think I did a good job. I mean, only I know some of the minor flaws and everything, but uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's a process. That's it. Look at that gloss black. Oh yeah. That looks really nice. And I haven't even wiped it off yet. It has fingerprints all over it. I'm going to take probably a little water and alcohol mix and just clean it up a little bit. I did do a, uh, a final blow by with the heat on everything just to make sure that it stuck to stuck to it. And, but wow, honestly, I'm proud of myself. You can do it. 
If I can do it, you can do it. But I want to give a shout out to my dad. He's an artist, not only that musician, but uh, his art goes back to the 60s and um, when he, he used to do car detailing, kind of like Rat Fink, Rat Fink stuff and um, actually hand painted gold leaf slash pinstriping and flames on the old school high rods. I'm talking freehand. So I have a lot of inspiration from him. He's uh, pretty amazing. He's always patient with any questions that I have regarding this stuff. So shout out to DJ, my dad for, uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get a comment below from him, but uh, I gave it my best shot. Overall, it took about an hour a little over an hour to do, and um, I'm pretty satisfied with the results. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I put it back on the car, the grill, that is. I even put the um, little plastic backing plate for the emblem on, which I did paint a matte black color. But overall, it turned out really well. Um, Obviously, it gives it a completely different look. I'll show you the before and after. But uh, I still have to do the lower part of the grill. Down here, all this stuff. And I'm going to do an amber delete over here on the headlights and do some stuff here. But uh, I think it just looks meaner. It just looks a lot meaner. It looks nice. It looks clean. And Again, there's some imperfections that only I notice immediately, but... Hey, I hope this helped, and uh, it was it was uh, an experience, and it was a little bit of work and some concentration, but I think that uh, for an amateur, and it turned out pretty well. So I decided instead of wrapping the VW emblem, I went ahead and painted it. I'm doing a gloss paint, but I'm going to wait on some clear coat, and I will incorporate that in another video along with the spoiler which is drying as well uh, i need to go get some clear coat apply it to both and then install them on the car wanted to throw in um, a picture that i had of the car when i first got it actually the first night and what the front grill looks like and after the picture obviously well or video but so you can compare the two and uh how good it looks compared to what it was What a day. I got it all completed. Uh, you saw the pictures. Um, if you have any comments, please comment below. I would love to hear from you. Uh, tips, better ways to do this. I'm gonna be doing some chrome trim deletes and uh, different things in the future, in the near future, because I want it to all look good and match. But I did it and uh, it took, I don't know, I have several hours in this today. But it's not that bad. It's, it's, it's really worth giving it a shot. I highly recommend it. I'll put links in the description um, with the products, the, the vinyl product that I use, and again, the, the heat gun and whatever tools you may need for this project. But thanks again for watching and uh, please subscribe, hit that button below so we can keep this thing going. Thank you guys.